Tom and Mark from Kayalicha near Cape Town came up with a brilliant idea of using recycled tires to create aqua traps. They get school kids involved in creating their own aqua trap gardens for their schools. Mark realized how dry and sandy the area was and decided to get involved with water conservation by introducing this method. Uh, I read about it in a popular mechanics a couple of years ago. Um, what they were doing in America on the golf courses in desert areas is cutting complete tires up, um, slitting them and then burying them and they discovered that they were sort of saving about 60% of the water. I was very fortunate to get hold of a uh, sidewall section. Um, the tread section was being used for making shoe soles up. So the nice thing, you know, with the aqua trap is, you know, here was a product where the whole tire has been used. Um, and once I got hold of the, the side wall, um, I just basically glued in and in it, uh, the inner tube, I got, you know, cut it up and then glued that into the actual um, side wall and created this dish. And that was basically how the aqua trap sort of was born. Well, the nice thing with the aqua trap, you know, what we've discovered is that, especially with food gardens like this is, you know, water's, you know, very precious. So we've discovered that, you know, you get a 50 to 60% saving of water. And not only that, it's very nice for the school kids because um, they are learning out in the sort of school grounds. They're growing vegetables. This then goes back into, they can use it for feeding, for soup. They can use, take this technology home, grow vegetables at home. So they're also learning about, you know, uh, the ecology and how things work, basically. The sort of competition that Berkeley's Hive just done, they discovered that um, using the aqua trap, they had uh, growth rates of double and some of the actual test sites were triple the normal um, test sites, you know. Mark and Tim Bisila conducted workshops in schools and hospitals with great success. There was a greater need for aqua traps in the area. The Constantia Primary School, under the supervision of Tembi Sile, entered their aqua trap garden in the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists. This was a really exciting time for the learners involved. One of the schools in Siakoy Play on the Cape Flats created a garden using aqua traps and won first prize in the inter school water wise competition. It's really encouraging to see that more schools and institutions are waking up to the possibilities of this method. I think it saves a lot of water because when we worked it out, we save like um, a half a litre every day per week. And it saves pollution also from the tyres, from tyres burning. So yeah, I think it, it helps the environment a lot. We dug the ground about 40 metres, centimetres deep, and then we laid the, the um, aqua trap pot down. And then we planted the, we had three different kind of uh, soil compositions. The first two was just soil, then the second two was half soil and half compost. The last three we had only compost. We found out that the half soil and half compost was the best way because those um, growth grew the largest and we had the most food on those, those plants. It does save a lot of water because the way we use it, the one side we used 500 milliliters um, three times a week and the other side we used two liters once a week and we found out that it was much better when we used the 500 liters, milliliters because we saved half a liter every, on every plant per week. And this also causes it's like it's warm inside because of the, the air trapped of the water, the aqua trap, which makes it more comfortable, the vegetables more comfortable and cozier so therefore it grows bigger. Which is also an advantage with using bigger vegetables. It's really great to see such good ideas put to practice and it's even better if the community can benefit from them. This idea not only saves water but time and energy too. Well done guys, your ideas make us proud. All the learners from our school found it very interesting because we always wanted to have something that you can all do and we didn't do it for the competition but it was more about fun for us. The, the passion to use aqua traps is the veggies are now bigger and that one is too slowly and from the one that we didn't use aqua traps it was we need to water every day and the one that has aqua traps we don't have to water every day we water every to every second or third day. We make our our staff make a soup for the children in the mornings and after after school or in the breaks. So other children don't have food at home, they eat here at school. I think it's working because 
children can learn to do things for themselves and not wait for the adults to do it for them. I'd like to show you a new cost-effective way of saving water. The new AquaTrap liner is made from shopping bags. Simply cut the sides and the handle, open up and flatten out, glue the two handles together with a glue gun. The holes created by the handles act as drainage. I recommend a trench depth of 300 millimeters. Here I'm laying the liner down and covering it with soil. Use a moisture meter. This will prevent overwatering and will let you know when you need to water. You'll be amazed at how much water you'll save. Help yourself, help your country, let's save water together.